We are experimenting with a sustainable system that is designed to feed a family indefinitely. Will it work? We don't know. But you can follow us as we attempt to tackle the challenge. We call this Chicken Aquaponics. Now that we know we can convert fresh chicken manure into safe, nutrient-rich, hydroponic plant growing solution, we want to make our system more efficient and cost-effective. The goals we've set for our Phase 2 prototype will be create a sealed system, increase efficiency, reduce initial investment, reduce long-term operating costs, document component and system investment. Creating a sealed system. We would like to remove the chicken pens from the equation. By removing the falling manure catchment concept, we can enclose the tanks. Not only is this a more humane way to interact with the chickens, but the open concept catchments can be a breeding ground for mosquitoes and a hazard to other living creatures. Increase efficiency. Reduce the initial investment. Our phase one prototype was designed as a laboratory that would allow us to scale up as much as we desired. It greatly exceeds the needs of a single family hydroponic garden. Instead of two 200 liter catchments, we'll work with one 30 gallon water tank. This tank will not be the deposit point for chicken manure, but it will instead act as a water reservoir. To introduce manure to the system, we will create a manure hopper. The water tank overflow will spill into the manure hopper. Manure taken from the chicken's pen will be introduced to the system through the opening at the top of the manure hopper. At the base of the hopper is a single pump. This pump will reduce the manure to small particulate matter and push it into a single phase digestion tube also known as the biological reactor. Our phase one system had two tanks, five pumps, one oxygen pump, three digestion tubes, and one settling tube. The phase two system will have one water tank, one liquid pump, one oxygen pump, and a single digestion tube, therefore reducing implementation costs considerably. Reduce long-term operating costs. Obviously, by reducing the electrical appliances, we'll reduce the long-term electrical demand. Our system is powered by a small solar power station. By reducing the electrical demand in our phase two project, we were able to reduce the solar power investment considerably. Document component and system investment. We did not track expenses for the phase one system because we incurred a lot of waste due to trial and error infrastructure investment. This time we have more experience and are certain about the materials we will use to complete the system. As we go, we will share the cost for each piece of the system and the overall investment. With these changes to phase two design, we should be able to reduce the initial investment by more than 60%. And if the experiment continues to produce desired results, we will have created a system that can meet the needs of most families.